all right hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you today our topic is about the core of Islam Islam is a religion based on sexuality everything the Muslims they believe in is based on sexuality the God of Islam the promise of Islam the belief of Islam the prophet of Islam the Quran of the Islam is based on sex today we will share with you what is Islam many they might think Islam is a religion but I see nothing in this religion except sex be aware you might hear some or something you don't like to hear so if you are a person will be get offended the purpose of this video is education not to speak filthy so uh, we have Muslims always who call us and supposedly they are trying to refute us about Islam and the more they speak about this cult the more we are convinced that this cult is really sick and today we are going to prove it to you and you'll be the judge after you watch and listen please leave your comment and share the video download it and educate your friends and your family about such a cult which is beyond imagination when it's come to sickness stupidity and madness I am NOT making things up you will hear it by your own and if you are a Muslim prove us wrong everybody who call us everybody who speak to us are Muslims and nobody can refute us the only thing the Muslims they say to me in text or in answers is to attack me as a person as an example they say show me your face but nobody can show me the answer where are you but nobody can show me where is Allah they speak about uh, you know they try to put you down but they cannot really answer anything that is Islam welcome and let us enjoy together exposing such a cult thank you hello 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 yes my friend how are you doing I am fine thank you I am very good so what do you think about yeah. the Quran speaking that you can have sex with your daughter in the interpretation if she is daughter from adultery <coughs> where is the, the head you are the person who speak Arabic you are perfect it's in the front of you this is the chapter of 25 verse number 54 and this is Tafsir al-Qurtubi as you see in the screen Jami'u al-Ahkam al-Ahkam al-Quran al-Qurtubi and read with me here we go read it you speak Arabic you are Moroccan you are Moroccan okay <coughs> All of this to read this is just four lines. But this is not a hadith, this is just uh, interpretation. Interpretation, okay. It says you can have sex with your daughter if she is daughter from adultery. Why, why you must believe in that? Read it, brother. Read, read in Arabic. Read, let us hear your, your Arabic reading. I want to, I, I like, I like Moroccan when they read Arabic. Go ahead. Praise be to Allah. We have an amazing book teaching us that if I have a daughter, she is not my the daughter of my wife, but she is my daughter, I can have sex with her too. That's amazing, brother. This is his interpretation. It's true, but this is the interpretation. This is your scholar, Al Qurtubi, and uh, this is not me. This is not a Christian scholar. You, why Al Qurtubi saying that, my friend? Why Al Qurtubi saying that? Why Al Qurtubi saying that? Let me seek him. Okay. Is he is not a prophet? He can be. He can do any mistake. Hmm. He's not a prophet. 
Yes. But the Quran says, okay, let me ask you, according to the scars of Islam, is your daughter from adultery yes. is considered as your daughter? I don't know about this. Uh, oh, don't tell me you do not know. Suddenly, no. suddenly you do not know. Come on, you are a Moroccan person. You speak Arabic. Uh, you know, yes, your Arabic is funny like your prophet, but it's, it's still okay. You can read. So don't tell me I do not know. According to Islam, a daughter from adultery is not considered as a daughter. You know that. She don't have inheritance. She cannot carry the father name. She cannot take money from the father. She is no one. Why? Because she is not considered as a daughter. Correct? This is the subject. I don't know. No, this is the subject. This is the subject. Because of that, because of that, she is not your daughter. So the Quran forbid you from having sex with your daughter because the one she is your daughter is only daughter from marriage. And this what, what it says here. Difference? This is what it says difference? here. If you have a daughter difference? out of marriage, Islam forbid you, the Quran forbid you from having sex from your daughter in chapter 4, verse number 23. Hurnimat, alaykum, ummahatukum, wabanatukum, correct? Okay, so it's forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter. But only a daughter in Islam is, a daughter in Islam is what? A daughter from marriage. And you know that. So what kind of a prophet, what kind of religion teaches such such a teaching? What is the problem in the verse? The verse he say your mother and your the daughter. problem. No, the problem is saying the problem is saying the that you you no the problem the problem is that you can have sex with your daughter. So let us say you have you are a Muslim who live uh, in Morocco and you step with the woman mm -hmm. out of marriage and then she gave you a beautiful girl according to Allah. You can have sex with the mother of the daughter and the daughter at the same time as you see in the front of you on the screen. The verse didn't say anything about my friend. The, does, does the scholar says that or I'm lying? Scholar is not the Quran, scholar the, my friend. Okay, this, uh, so why you call him a scholar if he's a scumbag? Why you call him a scholar if he's saying something stupid like this? How you allowed him to be even exist as a scholar to teach you Islam and Allah, and you Muslim call him a scholar, but he he, he give you the garbage if this is not a true. If, if, if a scholar wants to see something, you cannot force him to, to not see it. This is his opinion. Okay, what is your opinion, how? my friend? So, uh, so how we understand Islam then? If this is the opinion of the scholar saying I can have sex with my daughter, and the opinion of the scholar is wrong, so should we follow your opinion, your Majesty? You should follow the Quran. Quran say you don't, you don't, uh, you don't, you don't have uh, sex with your mother and your daughter. Mm. Okay, this let me ask you. Let me ask okay. you. Okay, okay. Does the Quran say the Quran that in the heaven? In the heaven, you are going to have whatever you wish. Yes. Okay. If somebody wished to have sex with his mother in the heaven, is that going to be granted? It depends on the person. Okay. So you are saying to me, guys, did you hear it? If a man in the heaven of Allah, he wished to have sex with his mother, it's fine. He can have sex with his mother. Why you are saying it's okay? Uh, okay, according to who is, is it wrong in the heaven? Okay, I'm asking you according to, you said it's it's right. No problem. I'm not saying wrong or right. I'm asking you. It's what is the wisdom? What is the wrong. wisdom? What is the wisdom in your religion that in the heaven you can have sex with your mother? In the heaven you can you, Allah will give you what you whatever you want. If you want it, this is your your, your business. So okay, so in, in in the heaven of Allah, if somebody he is a gay, he's a homosexual, and he would have sex with men. Is he going to be granted men to have sex with? My friend, Allah, he says you will get whatever you want. He didn't go to the details. My friend, that's this it. I got you. I got you. So so in the heaven of Allah, in the heaven of Allah, hmm? in the heaven of Allah, you will have whatever you wish. A guy who is a gay, he like to have it bang, bang from the wrong location. You know what I'm talking about. Allah, he will grant him. Allah will give him Allah will give him a gay to if uh, together so you the, the heaven of your God is uh, what is that I mean when we say whatever you wish that's mean so what the point of saying you cannot do this in earth but you cannot do it you can do it in heaven why Allah says that being a gay in earth is a big sin but being a gay in heaven is okay you know why why because this because in the earth we it's it's a test but after in the heaven, there is no sin, there is nothing 
there is no the day of judgment so you will live here for for okay forever. so in the heaven of allah in the heaven of allah you muslims are a bunch of hippies you are a bunch of hippies you you have your penis in your hand and you go and you put your penis wherever you wish just what you are saying to me right your mother your sister your daughter your neighbor your brother you f everybody this is what you are saying to me there is no limitation you f whoever in your way my friend when allah say you can have whatever you want Mm. If you want something, if you want to, if someone, mm. what, the, the, what if somebody? What? Okay, hold on. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to insult my friend. Listen to me. Listen to me. What if a man? He, what if a man? He wished to 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 f your prophet. Can I answer? Yes, sure. Go ahead. If you want to do anything to, to someone else, the person that you want to do it, he also he want to. If he refuse, he you cannot do it. You know. Hmm. Because it depends on the two person. It doesn't say that. Do no, it you... doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says whatever you wish, whatever you wish as okay. an individual, not ever uh, whatever you wish, and you know whatever you wish. But anyway, anyway, if a man, he, if a man, okay, if a man he wanted to have sex with your prophet, Allah, he said to him, whatever you wish, is that okay? And the and the prophet also he have what he wish. Okay. And he so if the prophet him. you are saying to me, if your prophet agree that he will bend over the guy, he can do him. He there's no problem. He will, he will never agree because you, this is your. Uh, how you know? How you know? Your prophet he your prophet obviously he like he like men, isn't it? Isn't it true that your prophet he put uh, eyeliner three times a day? My friend, this is your assumption. How I you am not assumption. I can show you the reference. Is it a true? Is it a true that your prophet he kiss a man down his belly? I found we are talking about the heaven. We are talking about earth. If he is doing that in earth, why he will not do that in heaven? Muhammad already he liked to kiss men down their belly. That's mean in the heaven he will like yeah. to do so. Right? Your philosophy in heaven doesn't work, my friend, because the two person, because if you want to do something that what you, what you want, the other person. He will do what he wants. No problem, no problem. But you said to me that a, a man in the heaven, he will get whatever he wish. Obviously, you're a prophet. He wished to kiss men down their belly. So you're a prophet in the heaven. Right away when he go to heaven, he will ask Allah to send him men who have nice belly so he can he kiss them all over there. And the guy will say to him, please, please don't stop. Please, there, right there, right there. This is the hate in front of you. Read it. This is the hadith. Read it. Show me the Arabic one. No problem. Here we go. What do you think? I don't see it. Just uh, move the screen. What do you mean you don't see it? It's clear. Where will I see it? Okay, okay. Okay, let's move it. I wish Muhammad at that time he have a camera so we can watch him live. I would be the first one to subscribe to watch him in video. My friend, mm. the heaven has nothing to do with the earth. The heaven. So you agree the, that your prophet the, kissing men, kissing no, men down no. their belly, down to their balls, and he is a prophet of God, and now he is in heaven. Obviously, Muhammad he liked that. So in the heaven of Allah, he is going for sure agree with the man he want to have sticks with him. There's no problem no, with Muhammad no, but, saying that. Huh? Okay, isn't it your prophet? Isn't it your prophet? He said that in the heaven there's a market, and this market there's images of men and women. Show me, no problem. And and uh, and uh, you know, and uh, if you wish to have sex with the uh, uh, with any image, men or women, you go right away and you enter the image and you have sex with it. Read the hadith for me, please. Okay, here we go. What is the problem? The problem, problem is, the problem is that in the heaven of Allah, 
it's granted for you. you even even there's a market there's a market in heaven where you can go to the market in the mall there's nothing but images of men and women but the customers are men as you see in the hadith so whenever a man he wish a desire of a, of an image but images are images of men and women so when a muslim man have a desire of any image he enter it to have sex with it so now if somebody what, what, the, what the problem is what you is, go in the heaven in las vegas okay you are we are walking in las vegas you saw an image of La, uh, michael jackson you will have sex with michael I'm jackson talking about huh the heaven is good are you seeing this is a sin so having sex with well, having sex with Michael Jackson in heaven for you as a man is not a sin, correct? My friend, are you saying this is a sin? For and me, it yes, bad. it's a sin. It's a sin. Yeah, it's a big sin. For me, it's because a sin. I'm a Christian. Huh? In the heaven, there is no sin. You can, you will, you will, you will, never, you will never be judged in the heaven. Okay, so you so are saying to us, you are saying to us, in the heaven of Allah. Everybody he he have sex with anyone male man with man uh, with your children What about children? You can have sex with your children too, right? Because whatever you wish There's many people they are what sick in their mind there. There's people they are sick in their mind They like to have sex with their children. What do you think about having sex with the children? Do you agree with that in the event too? Uh, what if somebody decide what if somebody Allah wish Allah. what if somebody wish to have sex with your son in the heaven of Allah? It is you who will do it. I know this because all, all, all you are thinking is, is, is uh, about if, if in the heaven. The well, your God about, Allah, if your God Allah, He says if, isn't it your God Allah, He says if? Uh, your God Allah keeps saying if. How come Allah can't see an if? I cannot say if. Here we go. You are the one who say it to me. If, if He wished to have it, you are the one who used the word if. So you can use it. I cannot use it. Why? Here we go. You are in heaven and now you like to have sex with the children and you are saying to me, there's no objection. You we Muslim, we can have sex with male, with male and female, children and adults. What if a guy he wanna have sex with a donkey? Is it okay? Can I answer? Sure, go ahead. We know that in Islam, uh, the 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 people when we we will he go to heaven, mm. he will not have the same the same quality as in the earth. Yeah, you will have a, you have a lot more ugly quality. Obviously, you became more ugly because you just said to me, "In the heaven of Allah, you will be, you you will turn to be addicted to sex. You have sex with everything on your way." I'm sure if you go to the heaven and you see a hole in the wall, you will put your penis there. Because nothing is forbidden no more in the earth. You Muslims, you have a fatwa. You have a fatwa that you can have sex with watermelon. I can show it to you. Watermelon, even watermelon, you have sex with it. So in the heaven. If in the earth you are doing this, in the heaven, what you would do what? You will have sex with watermelon, you will have sex with the fig, you will have sex with the rabbit, you will have sex with the birds, you will have sex with the cats, you will have sex with boys. I mean, there's no limitation in the heaven of Allah. So the heaven of Allah is nothing but a porn palace. Are you finished? Go ahead, I'm listening. You. You think about sex in the earth because this you need it to to to, to live, but in the heaven, mm. the the you have a new creation. Yeah, so but, but all okay. that you are thinking mm. that has nothing to do with the earth. So why your why your prophet is promising you all uh, just sex in the heaven? If this doesn't have nothing to do with the earth, why your prophet even he promised you that in the heaven your penis will never go soft and you will f as many as you wish. Why he promised you that the man in the heaven he will have the power of 40 men for bang bang if this is different creation or what we see that you you became more addicted to sex you are not out of sex you became worse so in earth you have a power of one man but in the heaven you need more because you will have the power of 40 men are you finished yeah each time i say something to you you say to me are you yeah. finished but you don't say anything did your god allah did your prophet he promise you the power of 40 men and he promised you that your penis will never go sleep did the, did the Quran speak about what you, what you will have in uh, the heaven you, will well, you just said to me you whatever have... you wish are you wishing are you wishing yourself that your penis would not go uh, good you just said to me you whatever you wish and your prophet he says that yeah okay what why you will you wish something something bad according to you why you don't wish anything good what is the good in Islam? Here we go. Look at the good. This is the good. Muhammad taken an oath. This is the good of Islam. Muhammad taken an oath that I swear by Allah that any one of you, the lowest, this is the lowest reward for a Muslim. This is the bad reward. That when you go to the heaven, 
you will have at least 72 wives and from the 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 the, the two uh, uh, two like 70 of them they are from the one Allah he will import from the heaven which means they are prostitute because they have a nice vagina and they have a beautiful beautiful breast as you see you see it, it says here and uh, 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 from his inheritance from the people of hell so Allah will choose the most expert women in sex and they are hookers they are very good in sex and they are very beautiful and he will import them from hell and then he will bring them to you and they have to have a specific qualification they have desirable front passages which means they have nice nipples they have nice breasts they have nice vagina you name it all right and then he promised you in the top of that that I swear by Allah that your private part will become like a concrete will never go sleep what is the problem with this there's no problem thank you very much guys there's no problem this guy this Muslim from Morocco he see no problem with that no problem okay this is this is Islam my friend thank you very much there's no problem my friend hmm. no problem with this hmm. you don't see a problem here is it just sin? no there is no problem because, because well, Define me what is well, all, all what you said to me is a sin. You said to me, okay, let's look what he said. You said to me a second ago, you said, you said to me, in the heaven there is no sin, and now you are asking me if is it a sin. This is a contradiction. You said to me it's okay to have sex with men. You said to me it's okay to have sex with your children. It said it's 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 okay to have sex with animals, and now you are saying to me, is it a sin? Well, in the earth, I talked about the earth, it is a in the heaven, in the heaven it's okay. So in the heaven of Allah, you can do all things which was considered to be sin in earth, correct? Yes. Okay. That's the thank you. The, okay. Thank you for calling, my friend. Thank you for calling. I, you know, I, I cannot really stay long, Mr. Karim. Thank you very much for calling me. I really appreciate you. You are a nice gentleman, and may Allah uh, uh, protect your penis and uh, keep it for the day of judgment, because you will need it a lot. I mean, obviously, this is the religion of penis, and I am not really interested in such a religion. No, no. Sorry, I cannot. I cannot take any calls. Sorry, guys. That's it for today. We will take not any more calls. But as you see, guys, here we go. This is Islam. No, actually, we will take one more call. There's Abdul. He was calling me names. So we will see what he want to say to us. He was saying to me, you are a fraud. Imagine people who believe that they can have sex with their mother, their daughter, their niece, their grandmother in heaven, with men and children, even animals. They speak about a fraud. Listen carefully. Even have sex with pictures? And this is coming from God. Well, I believe that to have and to be in love with this, you have to be a perverted person. Sorry to say so. Does not That does not fit with the qualification of what the one we call him God, for he is holy. In the house, in the house of Allah, what we see is a bunch of hippies have no panties. And their penis never goes sleep and all what they do they just uh, screw around it doesn't matter if it's your mother your your son your daughter your, your it doesn't matter who anything have a hole just go for it even if it's a disposal machine that cannot be from god my friend if you are a muslim and watching this please think 100 time before you go to sleep Ask yourself, can this be from God? That cannot be. This is a devil trying to tempt you with your penis. This is the devil. Even he promised you a river of wine, a river. I mean, he, he said in the Quran that the wine is the meat of the devil, but yet Allah is going to import the devil of the, the, the devil made wine to, to the heaven. <laughs> Madness, madness and stupidity. Obviously, Muhammad trying to tempt men to die for him, to fight for him, so he can get his glory to be a king. Imagine now if I can convince all of you how many people are listening. One thousand. If I say to you, go and die for me, huh? And you will get paid in heaven, and just send me your money and send me your wives. That's what Muhammad did. He made a chapter saying, any woman she want to give herself to me, so I can bing bing with her. The fifth from every attack is to my pocket. 
the best of the attack is to my pocket if you want to speak to me in a private you have to pay me Muhammad is God he fooled those people this is why you see someone uh, uh, you know he wanna he wanna go to heaven he commits suicide bombing because he is he is desperate to go there he wanna go and get those pictures he wanna have sex with Michael Jackson you wanna go and have sex with Muhammad himself They are not in love with Allah. They are in love with their penises. This is why you see the promises is a promise made for men, but the women there, they are just sex toys. Because Muhammad, he needs fighters. He do not need women. So all the promises is made for the man, the benefit of the man. There's one hadith says that the women, she will be 70 times more pretty in heaven, which is very stupid, very silly. Because if you are 70 times more pretty in heaven, nothing changed. Just to show you how silly Muhammad is and how he's trying to insult you. If we have a woman, her name is Fatima. We will call her F. And there is a woman, her name is uh, Khadija. We will call her K. And there is a woman, her name is Aisha. We will call her A. And then Fatima is a three time more Beauty than Khadija. Khadija is one time beauty. And the second one is twice more beauty than Aisha. And now we make them all X by 70. Nothing changed. This one will be 200, 210 time more beauty. This one will be 140 time more beauty and this one became 70 times more beauty but nothing changed you were ugly in earth you're still ugly in heaven sorry it's fully new stupidity We have a guy, his name is Ras. He's trying to call me. Hold on, I am interested to see this Ras. Hold on, Ras. I'm going to call you back. You see, I thought Ras is very upset, and I don't like to see a Muslim upset. It's against my uh, policy. I don't like to see Muslims upset. I never made a Muslim upset, by the way, all my life. That's why they like me very much. Uh, Ras, let me call you. Because I think I saw that you, you tried to call me, right? Okay, I'm, I'm going to call you myself. Answer, Mr. Ross. How are you, Mr. Ross? Chris? Yes, my friend. How are you? Are you Chris? are you upset from me? Do you hear me? Hello? I heard you, I saw you in the text saying this guy is a fraud. Why you don't want to talk now? Do you hear me? Oh, hold on, maybe Prince. maybe his voice is not coming to him. Hold on. Hello? Prince. Okay, do you hear me now? I heard you, I saw you in the text saying this guy mute, is a fraud. Mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Do you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, mute YouTube, please. Sorry? Mute YouTube so we don't have double voice. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Yes. Russ? Why are you upset? You say you, 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 you said you said this Nothing guy is, is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yes. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything, anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome, you and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I, sin I, I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, sin. I'm not smart we like listen. you. We think it's sin due to our social okay. structure. If, if, the, if Zach and I, I'm not trying to insult, by the way. I'm not trying to insult. 
don't take me wrong, please. You know, I, I have not, I don't know you. you. Okay, no, I'm not trying to insult. If Zach and Naik, he want to have sex with your sister, and you like your sister, so are you willing you and Zach and Naik to have share to share your sister together? In this case, Zach and Naik mm -hmm. in heaven, mm -hmm. he would have a situation in which he could. He could. So you and your sister and you Zach and Naik in one bed. But it it wouldn't be my. It would be it wouldn't be my sister. Why not? In heaven. Think of it as anything can happen. Well, anything can happen. So your sister, it's possible that you and Zach and Nick having sex with your sister at the same time. That's amazing pleasure. I mean, what I can say, this is beautiful, my friend. I'm really in touch. I've, I'm thinking now to convert to Islam. And can you tell me what is the wisdom behind this? Why? Why you, your sister and Zach and Nick and you in the bed and you don't see that there's something wrong with that? Why do you think there's no, nothing wrong with that? Look, okay, I, due, due to our social like structure and mm. morals, yes, mm. it's wrong. Mm. But when you get to heaven, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Mm. Yes. What if uh, what if somebody want to have sex with the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him? If it's in heaven, yes. So the Prophet, he will take off his panty, he will bend over, and we will see somebody doing him from his behind. In my in my heaven, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And uh, do, do you think you will be hurt if somebody do it to you from your because you're a man? I mean. I think that would be hurting you badly. Do you think Allah will ease your anus pain? No, uh, listen, it, that person, whoever who wants to do it, mm -hmm. he would the uh, he would be able to do it in his own uh, time and space. The time and space, no problem. But he need his penis too. So you are a man now, and the man he want to do sex to you, and now you know because you are a man. Unless you are used to it, I mean, it's going to hurt badly. Do you think Allah will make it easier for you when he, when a, when Abdul he do? I would not. I would not be the one that he does it to. I'd be. Why? Uh, you you like to do it to men. You don't like men to no, do no, it to no, you. No, 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 no. It'd be a different me in a different time and space. Oh, so your anus would be bigger in the heaven. Okay, I got that. No, so, no, no, no. So what no, do you mean? I am different me. You are saying different me. I don't know. A me in a different time and space. I, I understand different time and space. I get that, you know. I, what, okay, explain to us different time and space. What does that mean? Let us see uh, what, what I try okay. to say. For example, you can have a dream about someone, mm -hmm. but that someone may, it's not the person in real life, real time. Oh, okay. So you can dream about someone, not necessarily he's from real time, but he will become real for you, right? Yes. Okay. So what if you dream about something real? You can dream about someone real, right? Uh, yeah. yeah yes. Okay. So, if you have a dream that you have sex with Muhammad Ali Klai, uh, yes, my answer is yes. I just explained to you. Look like you are waiting for it, like because you said like yeah, yes, like wow, man, look like you are dying no, for it's that. Because day. you go in a loop because you repeated the same thing. I said yes already. Ah, okay. So, okay. So, my friend, after you spend all your day having sex with men and women and your mother and your sister, as you said. Do you think, don't you think this is like really weird? I mean, what is, what kind of heaven this heaven is? It is weird because due to our moral and uh, human minds, yes. Mm. But once you, go, once you go to heaven, you are free from that. Mm. So you are, in the heaven of Islam, let us make it clear for the audience, me and you, in the heaven of Islam, you will be free from your moral, correct? Yes. Which means you will, you will have no morality. Sorry, sorry, what? You said that in the earth we have moral, in heaven we don't have moral, correct? It's a social social, social structure, yes. Yeah, so in the heaven of Allah we have no moral, we can do whatever we wish. So if my, my, my neighbor, he have a wife, I can jump over his window and I can do bing bong with the wife, right? Your desires will happen, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And what what will make that of you? I mean, uh, that will make you really happy? You think this will be a very happy time for you? Any any of my desires will have be able to happen. Yes. Hmm. If that okay. someone is happy, then they'll be happier. I, okay, no, my friend. I don't know. The the one before you, we asked him about having sex with your daughter. He said there's no problem. Yeah. Is that the same for you? You don't have a problem having sex with your daughter. In heaven? Yeah. I don't care. It's heaven. I'm already dead. Okay. No, no, in heaven, you are not dead. You are alive there. You have a real penis. No, I'm in dead from this world. Ah, okay, so in the heaven of Allah, you have no problem. Uh, somebody actually is asking me, what if somebody, uh, 500 men, they want to have sex with you? 
<laughs> let us say, let us assume you are very handsome. You know, you are handsome very much. And there's 500 men they want to have sex with you. So what we would do now? You are, it's okay for you? They would love. Um, mm. Sound like it's they, very something you like very much. Okay. Well, no, you know, no, it's just in the time and space that each man will be able to imagine whatever they want, and it will happen. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know. This is a very interesting religion, by the way. I don't understand what your problem with that is. Uh, for uh, I, I'm sure you don't understand because you are coming from different uh, world, my friend. You don't have a problem with anything. You're having sex with your mother, with your sister, with your daughter, with the goat, with the donkey, men with men. I mean, this is the hippie religion. Okay, where do you we think have... that having uh, many wives is wrong? In earth? Yeah, any, any, yes. Yeah, 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 the Bible says don't multiply your wives. How many wives did Solomon have? It's not God who taught him to do that. Solomon, he, you know, and David, they, they, they ask God for repentance. They pray for God, saying, "Please, God, forgive us." About having multiple wives, what about Moses? About all, Moses all, also. About, about, all about the sin. You know, so you, uh, uh, things happen in. Uh, oh, so each okay. prophet uh, okay, had my multiple friend. Okay, wives. Okay, my friend, my friend. Even Abraham, Abraham, the father of those names, he had two wives, correct? Yes. But it's not God who taught him to do that. So. And there is a certain time where people so you they can't hold, eat hold, unless God tells you to eat. You can't that. walk until no, 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 unless no, no, God tells no, you no, to walk. No, 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 no. There is a certain time Sorry. where even in the in the in the beginning of Adam and Eve, a brother he have sex with his sister. Is that correct? Sorry, sir. The children of Adam and Eve, they had mm -hmm. sex with their sisters. Is that correct? In order to procreate, yes. Right. Okay. So because at that time it was a special, so it was okay. But after that, then a law came, says, you cannot do that. So to a certain point, it was okay. So they did not receive an order from God yet to say, no, you cannot do that. Now, you as Muslims, after you go to heaven, you only... See, you mixed it. You, you, see, you mixed it. I, no, I did not mix it. I did not mix it. You see, no, for I me said, as a Christian, have sex with, my friend, uh, my friend, my friend, the proof that it's wrong to have many wives, that we Christians don't allow having many wives. You can have only one woman, and one man and that's it not many wives in your religion you can multiply as many as you wish you can have four at the same time but there's no limit which mean i can marry four now divorce them after 10 minutes and then marry another four divorce them after 10 minutes and they marry four etc as long as i can afford it there's no problem and the same time i can buy as many as the slaves i can have sex with them but you're not not only this your madness goes go beyond to the heaven of allah where in the heaven you do nothing but having sex with everything around you, including animals, no, so you see, including okay, women, see, what, including what children. What is the point of heaven then? What is the point of heaven? Okay, so the point of heaven for you is holding your, your penis around and having sex with no, anything no, I'm you want. I'm asking you, I'm asking you. If, if you can't do it, your desires don't happen in heaven or earth, what is the point of the well, actual the, the heaven for me as a Christian, in the heaven we will be free from those things because the first desire I have is to, to be free from needs. You see, when they ask Jesus, the Jews, they ask him, a woman, she get married from first husband, second husband, so she will be the wife for who in the heaven. He said, what he, if you want multiple wives? Hold on. You cannot. You cannot. Because simply, the heaven of God is not about sex. The heaven of God, that you will be a different being who enjoy freedom. I know, I know. You worship him forever and ever. I already know. Yes, we worship him, yes. But in the same time, we are not worshiping him because he will give us a penis and a vagina. We worship him because he will share his glory with us and we will be free from slavery because sex is, that is slavery that is slavery no no it's the opposite yes, you're worshiping sitting there worshiping forever and ever isn't that no hell? this is not a slavery because we believe in a free will nobody is forcing you don't worship him if you also oh, you don't have to no. worship him no no my friend you know i don't have to worship him yes i don't have to because i, I can i can be i can be a pagan like you who kiss a black stone worship a vagina who kiss it and lick it but i choose not to be so it's a free will now you as in the heaven you, you have free will in heaven hold on you have free will in heaven yes because simply i will be free this is the free will i will be free okay will so you free. have the free will of having uh, as many wives as you want no the free will is to be the same as angels which means we will be pure this is the free will my free will there i will not be having the nature of sex and food and etc he okay, said, that's not free hold on, will. let free me explain to you. Is explain the to my will friend, of doing my whatever friend. you want. Listen, listen, no, no, let, let me explain Free, will, free will means being able to make a decision yes. without being affected yeah, by your anything else. That's correct. But because now you are different nature, you will be the same as angels. You are not a human being who is carrying his penis and desire sex. You will be different creation and you will be different person. So he said he and she, they will be the same as angels. What angels are about? They don't have desire for sex. You don't have desire for food. 
they don't get hungry they don't need to eat they do not need to sleep so we will be free from all our needs so we will be free and this is the best best promise God can give you he give you your freedom you live as if you are not God but as if you are a person who is close in nature to God you will be free from all the needs you don't and happiness will be different so you Muslims you understand happiness from the west and down for us we Christians we understand happiness from the heart and up we will enjoy the glory of the Lord to be with him and we will be free from our needs in Islam you will become a slave of your needs and he will increase your needs so your penis can't even sleep no more so now you have more needs of sex your penis need more men and more women and more goats and more watermelon to have sex with them so you became addicted to sex and you are a slave of sex so your God don't give you freedom and There's joy only pleasure your God no my friend okay anyway thank you very much for calling I, I, I did call you because you said the Christian Prince is a fraud but look who is the fraud here the fraud is the one who promised me I will have sex with my mother in heaven I will have sex with my daughter I will have a threesome with Zach and Nick with the sister that is the fraud myself all right guys you heard today how Muslims they present Islam to us now you make a judgment and you decide yourself after what you heard the Muslims they said we have no problem to have sex with their mother they have no problem to have sex with their daughter they have no problem even to have his sister and Zach and Naik and him in bed together three some they have no problem there is no sin in the heaven of Allah you do whatever you wish you sleep with your mother you sleep with your sister you sleep with your daughter you sleep with your grandma sleep whoever you want sleep with men sleep with the children sleep with the goat have sex with the watermelon so everything is lawful in the heaven of Allah and here we need to ask ourselves what is the wisdom to forbid me from doing something and you 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 say to me it is wrong it's satanic to do it in earth but it is godly to do it in heaven you know what I mean how you say to me that adultery is satanic in earth but adultery is godly in heaven how you say to me to be a homo is satanic in earth and it is godly to do in heaven how you say to me all the rules you said to me in earth suddenly it is abolished and it is lawful so obviously this is satan himself who is moving his command from the headquarter in earth to the headquarter of the heaven of allah if you are a muslim and you are listening to this you tell me who is this stupid here someone he believe in such a garbage really do you, you you really are you proud about yourself having sex with your mother the Muslim they say to us that in the Bible in the Old Testament there's a story that there is two daughters of Lot they have sex with their father and they are ashamed of it unbelievable but my friend even those stories speaking about two women who did something it's not God who told them to do which mean if I do now let us say I see a woman running in the, on the road and I kidnap her and I kill her or etc but this is me it's not God saying that to me here we have a religion teaching you to do that you can rape in earth you can have sex with your daughter even your daughter from uh, adultery in earth not in heaven you can have sex with her and in the beginning of the video we discussed this with two uh, with, the, with the Moroccan guy and he did not see any problem he said okay this is what it says so in this religion if we can call it religion there's nothing is called moral moral is a gain Muhammad who is a person without morality when we show the guy that your prophet he is kissing men down their belly imagine imagine a prophet of God kissing men down their stomach to down their you know and the guy he was saying to him oh please prophet don't stop yes prophet this is how I like it yes prophet please don't stop prophet prophet yes 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 please brother prophet, don't stop it Allah, Allah, Allah. but this is what I wanted <laughs> this is the perfect way this is please, right there right there and the Muslim Abdul, he have no problem with that. And then they lecture us about Western women, how they go in the bikini. I just saw a comment of the of the Muslims about the the, the singing uh, 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 sermon which happened in Saudi Arabia. They brought a singer which was famous, and they were saying Takbir Allahu Akbar, the King of Saudi Arabia, how allowed this. But all of them, they are the most corrupt nation ever. Prostitution, satellite dish porn. I mean, you go in the Middle East. I, I remember, honest to God, one day 
I went to the roof in, of, of our house in the Middle East and suddenly I saw everybody is working in his satellite everybody have satellite there everybody uh, and the reason because you can get hundreds of free channels you know in the Middle East not like in America you have to pay for it hundreds if not thousands free but everybody is a change in the satellite direction and I did not know why I mean I, I, I we check our TV I went downstairs it's working fine there's nothing wrong with the satellite why why people are changing I don't know so at night I, I, I went I, and I like I was a teenage I was walking with the friends and they said to me did you change the satellite uh, direction I said why they said didn't you know I said no what they said all the porn channels are changed they locate them in different satellite now and now I was saying ha uh ha -huh, this is why the whole town was in the roof Nobody is caring for watching normal movies. The whole town is watching porn. Everybody in the roof, old, young, and they are speaking. Is it working now? They are screaming, you know, like, is it working because he have to move the, the dish with his hand? Is it working now? Everybody is screaming. Is it working now? Is it perfect now? Yes, stop, stop, don't move it. The whole city is up there, but you go down the stairs, everybody is religious. Everybody have a beard. Everybody wearing a jalabiya. Everybody go to Friday prayer. Everybody. But the whole town are watching porn. I never saw people speak about God as much as those people. But I never saw corrupt people like those people. No Muslim go to the mosque wearing new shoes. Anyone knows why? No Muslim go to the mosque wearing new shoes because if you wear new shoes, they will steal your shoes. There, there is a shoes for the pray for the prayer. It's a it's a it's a garbage shoe. So you wear your worst shoe to go to the mosque. Otherwise, you will go out. You will find your shoe disappear. You can go right now and search in YouTube shoes stealing or theft in the mosque. There's tons of videos. And actually, if you have a new shoes, what they do, they put it under their dress and they take it inside with them, inside their shirt. You believe it or not? Hypocrite, corrupt, you know, they speak about dignity. Go there. You know, there's there's an actor, his name is Adil Imam. He's an Egyptian. They ask him, uh, it's like a comedy, you know. They said to him, okay, you heard that you have a Billy Dancer next to your door. Why you did not move from the building? So he said to him, well, if every every Egyptian, he moved out of his building because there is a Billy Dancer, we have to move out of the country. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> but nobody speak about God and nobody is like, you know, Muhammad Hijab is an Egyptian. Huh? Drugs, corruption, prostitution, dancing naked in the street, hashish, I mean, you name it. But nobody speak about God as they do. They are holy people. Very holy. So my friend, garbage in, garbage out. There is a, there is a Canadian... Uh, uh, crazy uh, blonde woman she converted to Islam and then she made a video about being a virgin maybe somebody can come post the video for her and she was complaining that about Muslim women claiming to be virgin she said yes they are virgin but they do it in the wrong place now this woman she converted to Islam and now she lived between the Muslim and she noticed what Muslim women do so they are they stay virgin but in their own way it's a very corrupt culture and society they speak too much of God but they have nothing to do with God God is just a sex toy in this religion what is the way for me to get the virgins and to have a penis will never sleep is God as you see I mean I ask yourself what kind of God he says to me if you believe in me I will make your penis excuse my language <clears throat> I don't want to say it you know what I mean I mean what kind of God will do that what kind of God he promised me that I will give you a vagina and nobody put his nose inside it and he described what is inside the vagina
the God of Islam is nothing but a God of porn. It's 100% sexual religion. And when you hear this guy, he is speaking and he's proud about, okay, so what? I will have sex with my mother. So what? Huh? So what if I will have sex with the, with the, uh, so what? Like, what's wrong with you? For example, you can have a dream about someone, mm -hmm. but that someone may, it's not the person in real life, real time. Oh, okay. So you can dream about someone, not necessarily he's from real time, but he will become real for you, right? Yes. Okay. So what if you dream about something real? You can dream about someone real, right? Uh, yeah. yeah yes. Okay. So if you have a dream that you have sex with Muhammad Ali Klai, uh yes my answer is yes i just explained to you look like you are waiting for it like because you said like yeah yes like wow man look like you are dying no, for that because day. you go in a loop because you repeated the same thing i said yes already oh ah, okay so okay so my friend after you spend all your day having sex with men and women and your mother and your sister as you said do you think don't you think this is like really weird i mean what is what kind of heaven this heaven is it is weird because due to our moral and uh, human minds, yes. Mm. But once you once you go to heaven, you are free from that. Mm. So you are in the heaven of Islam. Let us make it clear for the audience, me and you. In the heaven of Islam, you will be free from your moral, correct? Yes. Which means you will you will have no morality. Sorry, sorry. What? You said that in the earth we have moral. In heaven we don't have moral, correct? It's a social, social, social structure. Yes. Yeah. So in the heaven of Allah, we have no moral. We can do whatever we wish. So if my 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 neighbor he have a wife, I can jump over his window, and I can do being bong with the wife, right? Your desires will happen. Yes. Okay. That's wonderful. And what what will make that of you? I mean, uh, that will make you really happy. You think this will be a very happy time for you? Any any of my desires will have be able to happen. Yes. Hmm. If that okay. someone is happy, then they'll be happier. I, okay, no, my friend. I don't know. The the one before you, we asked him about having sex with your daughter. He said there's no problem. Yeah. Is that the same for you? You don't have a problem having sex with your daughter. In heaven? Yeah. I don't care. It's heaven. I'm already dead. Okay. No, no, in heaven, you are not dead. You are alive there. You have a real penis. No, I'm in dead from this world. Ah, okay. So in the heaven of Allah, you have no problem. Uh, somebody actually is asking me, what if somebody, uh, 500 men, they want to have sex with you? <laughs> let us say let us assume you are very handsome you know you are handsome very much and there's 500 men they want to have sex with you so what we would do now you are it's okay for you they would love them um, mm. sound like it's really something you like very much okay well no, you know no. la, 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 and guys stop asking me if i am an arab yes i am an arab but it's not my fault trust me I'm going to use an airplane maybe soon, and that really is not fun to be an Arab in an airplane. The second you start reading and using your phone in Arabic, the guy next to you, he will ask the host, please, can you change my place? Uh, uh, excuse me? Excuse me. You know, and right away, I will have two seats by myself. This is what I do. I go in the airplane, I open my phone, I open the news in Arabic, and I show, I, I, I make my phone appear to this person next to me, whoever he is. Right away, he see me reading in Arabic. Uh, excuse me, there's an empty space uh, there. There's a, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, let me talk to you, please. You know, and then I will have the whole trip sitting by myself, enjoying the trip and how fun it is. Same, like they asked me, how come always you are, like, I mean, you're so fast to pass the security line. I said, it's very easy. When I am in the security line, I take the phone, I say, Assalamu Alaikum, Alhamdulillah. Even I'm not talking to no one. The security right away they hear me they come to me they say uh, sir uh, see me show me your ticket and they put the circle around my ticket special inspection and then they choose right away to make it look like it's not like about because you're an arab they choose the the, the, the anyone he is a redhead anyone any redhead he have to be blonde always he have to be blonde redhead blue eyes they choose him and they put a circle around him and they say go behind him so make it like to make it look like it's not only you because you're an arab you know but this is the best way to go and pass the line of security so fast and so easy amazing so beautiful you know so i like it i mean i feel sorry for you you are not arab <laughs> we have a special treatment always i arrive out of the airport when i arrive i open my bag it says this bag was inspected and there's a letter inside from the from the security department 
you know, they, they, because they open your back. So they put us there. This uh, this is a back was under uh, security inspection, and they leave a letter for you that we open your back. It is really fun. It's very very good, and not only that. Actually, I like it because they they put the back back as it even before better than before. And I wish next time they would put some donation. I mean, you never know. So it's really fun, and it doesn't bother me. And I understand that if I am a security and I see someone he is an Arab like me passing by, I will be worried one thousand times. It doesn't matter. In America, there's nothing. It's called a Christian. In America, they knew that you are an Arab, and they think all Arab are Muslims. This is how naive Americans are. I remember once my mother, she was reading the Bible in Arabic and the, the person next to her asked for to move the chair, to move to different uh, locations. She thought she is a Muslim. So uh, this is how it is. Welcome to America. And we cannot we cannot blame them anyway. You know, terrorism is coming from our land. And but we, it's not our fault. We are Christians. We have nothing to do with this garbage. Uh, but you have to pay the price of anything. Uh, wherever you go, you are an Arab and you are suspicious. You like it, you don't like it, and I don't blame them really. If if an American person did that in 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 where I'm coming from, uh, trust me, no American will stay alive. They will kill them all. So Muslims are lucky that Americans are nice people and they are not crazy mad people after 9/11. Uh, but if you do the same for different country. You will see the Muslims what what they will act. You know, a woman she insulted supposedly Muhammad. They claim, and she is just a woman. She's a poor woman. Uh, the whole country of Pakistan went out the street. They want to kill her. Go and see the news. So imagine if 9/11 happened to Pakistan, what will happen to the Christian there? Just think about it. 9/11 happened in USA, and nothing happened in USA to the Muslims, and nothing happened to us as an Arab too. Because at the end of the day, Muslims, the uh, American, they think everybody is a Middle East as an Arab. And this is why even they count us when they count Muslims. They say, okay, how many Arab in USA? Let us say there is a, a 500,000. So they count me, they count anyone who's an Arab. And by the way, the majority of Arab in USA are Arab Christians, not Muslims. Just to let you know. Uh, so American are very kind people at the end of the day. Western are very kind to the point we call them naive. You know, because sometimes it's good to be kind, but it's not good to be stupid. American until now do not know even Osama bin Laden is a Muslim. They they get an idea that's uh, uh, Arab, you know, but they don't know what Muslim means. Still, there's many of them they have no idea what Muslim. And if you speak to American about Islam, they think Islam is a good religion. This is why you see the liberals when they go in a strike, they take with the Muslims and even they put pictures of a Muslim woman wearing hijab, but. By doing that, they are supposed uh, supporting oppression because Muslim women they are forced to wear hijab, and Muslim women in Islamic countries are oppressed. She have no right. She is not equal. A husband can beat her, and etc. So stupidity is amazing, and welcome to the West. However, we are here trying to fight stupidity. All right. Now, for sure, not all Western are 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 the same in their education level, but majority. They are far beyond any kind of education. They have no idea. If I ask now, uh, between the American, they are listening. How many of you have a passport? I will not be surprised if more than seventy percent they never have a passport all their life. So they don't have. They don't know what is uh, out the box of America. They think all the world eat hamburger and McDonald, and they they think everybody in the world they have two cats and one dog. One her name is Susu. The other one her name is Juju. And they think that everybody, uh, you know, have more than one car. And uh, they think uh, that, uh, you know, the grocery store is in the corner full of food anytime they want, as usual. This is what they think, you know, because they did not see what the world is. And this is why uh, American, they don't appreciate that they are American, because they did not see what out America is. So you will see an American, he's upset for you being American. A guy, he don't want to be American. You see, I saw the liberals, they are saying, I'm going to immigrate to Canada. I'm going to be, go immigrate. I advise you to immigrate to Pakistan. You know, why Canada? I mean, Canada? What Canada? Come on, go. Go to a free country, you know, hashish country. So ignorance and stupidity, uh, it's madness. Uh, but we are here to fight the ignorance. And for sure, we are not trying to put the American down. But I'm really disappointed that in America, 
there is no educated people we can say maybe more than 70 percent or 80 percent are totally unaware of anything happening around us in this earth you might ask actually i show i, sh I saw a guy his name mike dice you can watch his videos he asked an american guy in in san francisco in in uh, in los angeles i think where i, I forgot where uh, do you know what is the 4th of July? They don't know even what the 4th of July. Have you ever heard of an American? He do not know what the 4th of July. I mean, what? they are born in this country. It's not like me. I'm a, I'm a person who came as an immigrant, a good citizenship. Somebody is born in America, he do not know what the 4th of July. Somebody is born in America, he do not know what the name of the capital of America. They are born in America, but they don't know anything about America. So, our problem is education, and this is what we are trying to do here. And the second you try and you hit hard, you know, you say things as it is, they will go all over you, and they will fight you, and they will try to take you down, and they will try to mute you, because you are showing their ignorance. Ignorance is the best way to destroy any nation. A nation of ignorance is very easy to take down. And this is the fact we have to be aware of. And we are not, I am not putting American down. I am, an, me myself, I consider myself an American. I love this country. And I don't, uh, you know, for me, when I say home, this is my home. I don't have other home. So America is my home. I love America. But because I love America and I love all the world, actually, to be in peace and uh, uh, progress to do better. We have no, no chance but to fight Islam. You know, just yesterday we heard of a guy attacking a bunch of people with a, with a knife, you know. And right away, the Western media, they say this guy, he is suffering from healthy, uh, 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 from like uh, mental issues. I mean, don't you think the guy who was just talking to me in the phone, he is suffering from mental issue? A guy, he think that he's having sex with his mother is okay. Having sex with his daughter is okay. Having sex with cats and dogs is okay in heaven. So what do you mean they are all of them they are suffering from mental issues anyone he believe in this cult and believe truly believe you know he will do what this guy did he will take a knife and he will stab people because allah he ordered him to do that in order to get the reward of having sex he is not doing it for the sake of allah he is doing it for the sake of sex this is a sexual religion the purpose is sex the target is sex the belief is sex the heaven is sex god is about sex But how people will understand? They think, you know, and the second you start talking about Islam, they say to you, you're Islamophobic. I never saw phobic people as much as Muslims. Say the word Jew. Say the word Jew. Put, put a Muslim in the, in, the, in, the, in the blood pressure machine and say the word Jew in front of him or show him a picture of a Jew. You will see how his blood pressure will go to 100 times more. Say the word pork, he go crazy. Put the cross in the front of them, they go, they go out of mind. Just do anything. I mean anything garlic even garlic offend them even garlic offend them anything offend them A Muslim get offended from anything the Muslim he start his prayer the five time prayer every day saying please Allah Please Allah don't make us the same as the lost Christians and the cursed Jews five times a day And yet they speak that we are the one who have a phobia a Muslim even have a phobia from going to the bathroom. If you go in the bathroom in certain foot and you did not say certain prayer, they believe that there is a conspiracy against their anus. That shaitan is going to play with their anus. Phobia from the bathroom. Phobia of even sex. When a Muslim, his wife, she take off her panty and she lay down in front of him in the bed. He cannot have sex. Otherwise, he have to say a prayer. Otherwise, shaitan will round himself around his penis and he will be doing his wife. This is phobia, my friend. Muslim believe that when he sleep, shaitan he sleep in his nose and he piss in his ears. And this is how Muhammad explained the wax in the ears. That is phobia. Muslim he believe that he is he is an, an under conspiracy in every part of his body. The billy bomb is not a billy bomb. It's a toilet seat for the devil. The prophet he said, don't, don't do yawning. Because if you do yawning, shaitan he will piss in your mouth and he will laugh at you. This is a phobia.
a Muslim he have to shake his penis three time because if he shake it four time it might come out that is a phobia name one thing for me in this religion even Muhammad he said that when a Muslim man he pray shaitan will come from his back and he will take hair from his anus and he will not stop until he hear it and he smell it which means the fart so here we go now conspiracy again he isn't a Muslim he's in Mecca not in America in Mecca huh yet shaitan is coming from behind him taking hair from his anus and he straight it out and imagine how Muhammad he make he, you know he described it how he straight it out like it's like I don't know if you watch uh, Tom and Jerry so shaitan he will put his foot in your uh, in your ass and he will pull the hair like yeah and now you fought if you did not fought he will repeat it again so you better fart faster otherwise you he will keep doing that your anus until endless so take my advice when shaitan start playing with your hair in the anus just do it and let him go otherwise he will not leave you alone and then shaitan he will move to the second one in the line praying this is how stupid this religion is this is religion and by the way i challenge any muslim to say i want to call you in, in order to make you read what i'm saying because you might say i'm lying do we have any Abdul wanna call me to prove me wrong? And by the way, based on Muhammad's story that Shaitan he take care of from your anus, that's mean by now all Muslims they have to be bold in their anus. Because imagine five times Shaitan he take care of from your anus. How many hair you have there? Are you a cat or a dog or what? Five times a day you pray, Shaitan he will take care of from your anus each time you pray. Muhammad he said each time you, you are called for the prayer shaitan he he start farting even the farting is you know I mean look at the connection between the prayer of a Muslim and farting of shaitan there is a video let me see if I can find it for you there's a video of a Muslim sheikh he was explaining what happened to you when you go in the bathroom and he was explaining you go inside the bathroom you think you will finish it in five minutes but it take you forever why because shaitan he block your bowels he go inside your bowels all right this is the video that is showing in the screen search for this video by your own uh satan satan fart and play with your butt you know you see the video so, you know search for it and you you will see and you, you will see the madness how the Muslims you know I mean it's a crazy religion what I can say when Satan fought you can search for this one too you know or this one here I mean madness is stupidity I wish I can play it for you because then you would die laughing and then you maybe you will sue me for having heart attack because of the comedy of Islam as you see, everything in this cult is involved sexuality. Shaitan is your, in your anus. Shaitan is in your penis. Shaitan is doing bang bang to your wife. And by the way, don't sleep in your don't sleep in your stomach because if you sleep in your stomach, Shaitan will do you from behind. So be careful, be aware. Don't sleep in your side too. So it's a very silly, stupid cult, and you have to be really silly to believe in such a cult. I hope today we cover a lot of issues and you people you can download the video share it We will not keep those videos in my channel for long. I always clean do cleaning from time to time and I do that in purpose to make people download the videos and Share them around. I want to say thank you for being here May the Lord bless you all and I wish you a great year to come and the year should be You know, we should have a target in this year to be less ignorant Less ignorant about everything happening around us in this earth. Our problem is we learn about God from Fox News and from CNN. We learn about Muhammad and Islam from media, which is a absolutely a bunch of garbage. Nobody say the truth, and nobody is willing to say the truth. We learn from people who they have no education themselves. Those people themselves they have no idea, and if they have an idea, it's mean they are lying to you. What you see here is a pure Islam as it is, with no decoration, with no makeup, black and white. No retouche. No paint. 
as it is and Christian Prince always promise you to speak and say things as it is I know as it is is not good for many but what you can do this is how life is as it is dreaming about something will not change what it is for it is what it is thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and I will see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and thank you very much bye bye